What is good guys, we're back with game 3 and Insult's team is made by Eternum, it's a Z Bloomdom Tran which is a good nuke in grassy terrain, can potentially barb this, this or this in this matchup, then we have a Bandit Weewa, uh, the Bulu is a bit more fist dev orientated on this team to deal with Zygarde, it's a Bull Cup variant, then we have a Static Zapdos with Discharge, Roost and Heat Wave, I don't remember if the last move is HPS or Defog, then we have a Bandit Zygarde and uh, the NC is... Um, rocks, Diamond Storm, Moonblast, and the last move is either Protect or Coverage move, I'm not sure exactly. On the other side, I could see the Lily being Scarf because he only has one Swift Swim user. Probably uh, Spikes on Pharaoh and Rocks on Pert. Um, either Metronome or Helmet on the Torn is what I'm thinking. Manaphy is most likely Z move. Manaphy is a huge problem for Insult, especially if it, is a, if it has Ice Beam. A plus 3 Ice Beam will kill the Bulu. This Bulu is not even that but it has more Fist Death Investment to help um, with the Zygarde matchup. So turn one we have uh, Lele versus Diancy. Enzo probably wants to switch out here into either Bulu or Tren in case the Lele is Scarf, then it would beat the DNC 1v1. Um, because I'm pretty sure DNC can't Oko Lele. And uh, the Pelipper might also um, be like Hurricane, U-turn, Roost and Scald on Ampo's side is what I'm thinking, and probably Defog on the Tornadus. Um, yeah, I don't think this is Lele is Specs. Uh, his team is like a bit slow because he only has one swift swim abuser and rain is not always up so i could definitely see this being scarf lily so bulu comes out now we will see from the damage if it's a damage boosting item um yeah this bulu is a bit more fist death and had only did 34 so it's definitely not specs um it could be scarf it could still be a different item but it's definitely not twisted spoon either like it's not a damage boosting item now it's important to keep the bulu healthy um, Ampo is going to switch into either the Torn, um, the Pelipper is also an option if it has Hurricane. I think either the Torn or the Pelipper is going to come out. Um, so Insult is either going to attack to get some health back, or he's going to pull a double here. Um, I guess he put, could pull a double, um, potentially into Weewell, predicting the Torn, or maybe into the NC. Um, yeah, I mean, Weewell covers Torn, the NC kind of covers the Torn and the Pelipper, so I guess the NC is a safe double here. But he has to be really careful that this Bulu stays healthy. Uh, otherwise, Manaphy might just run through his team. Because um, the Banner Weaver can't even do that much to the Manaphy since the Manaphy is most likely a Zemo variant. So, Knockoff will only do like 45 or 50 ish. Um, so, he doubles the DNC in. Um, I think Diamond Storm has a really good chance to Oko even if he has no attack investment. Um, the rocks are really obvious here because Ampo does have a Ferrothon in the back. And Ampo predicts him to go for rocks and goes for Scald and gets a burn on the Yancy, which is really annoying for Insult. We got Grassy Terrain cancelling out the burn damage. Um, Ampo might not want to stay in here, might want to pull a switch. We're going to see either Diamond Storm or Moonblast probably from Insult, but this is um, the, this burn sucks a lot for him. Um, I mean, Ampo could have, if he didn't get that burn, he could have still gone into Ferrothon to deal with the Diancy. Because I don't think this DNC has HP Fire, and um, I mean, even if it has HP Fire and Rain, Ferrothon should be able to deal with it. So he goes to Torn, which means he just wants to defog. He's able to lift the Diamond Storm because of the burn. And Enzo is going to be able to get rid of the Torn here. And um, afterwards, Ampo has to go to something that's faster so the rocks don't go back up. So that's most likely um, the Pert that's going to come out here. And Enzo just has to sack the DNC, I think, because he doesn't really have switch ins for the Pert. Because the Bulu is not at full. And it's too risky to go Bulu on an Ice Punch um, and probably would get 2 it KO'd. The Bulu is bulk up Horn Leech SD Superpower, I'm pretty sure, on this team. Um, yeah, my many clips also made a team pretty similar to this. And he also passed me, I think, this team that it turned and made. So that's why I know all the sets, if you guys are wondering. So he's able to just Horn Leech, get some health back. Tornadus was dead, so Horn Leech was super free. Now he wants to switch out here um, into either Zapdos or any Heatran. Um, in case the Pelipper has Hurricane, there's no way, there's no reason to stay in. This Bulu is important and he needs to keep it healthy. And even if it's not Hurricane, um, he would risk getting burned if he stays in with the Bulu. So yeah, if Trent comes out, they can threaten it with the Bloom Doom, the Pelipper. And if Zap comes out, they can obviously threaten it with the Electro move. So Trent comes out, Hurricane is there. And he gets the Confusion, which is really annoying. Now, what's Ampo's play here? I think he's going to switch out. Goes into Manaphy and what does Insult go for? We will never know what he went for because he hits himself. If he went for Bloom, that would have been bad. As he goes back into Pelipper, I think he predicted him to go back into the um, Bulu. Or he, if he scouted for... No, I don't think he scouted for Bloom Doom because he could have just gone for Water Move. If he predicted the trend to stay in, he could have just gone for Water Move. But now he's free to go for Tail Glow. Trent already used the Z, which means now the Manaphy walls the trend. And I think Insult is forced to go into... Um, he's either gonna go Weewile or he's gonna go into his um, Bulu here. 
And this mana fee is definitely tail glow, water move, which is maybe scald. Uh, I mean surf, because surf is stronger than scald, and that might get some KOs that scald doesn't get. And then it's um, maybe rain ends, but I'm not sure about that. It could also be a three attacks. It could be tail glow, water move, psychic plus ice beam. And if it's ice beam, this might just win. So it goes hard, we will. Uh, he's gonna knock off here, which is the strongest move he has to hit this. But since this is most likely Zim of mana fee, it should only do like 40 or 50. It only does 50. Surf and the rain is gonna kill it. And now he has to go Bulu, and if this mana fee has Ice Beam, I think it just wins the game. Um, Insul has nothing to outspeed this anymore, unless he's max speed Zapdos, then he can speed that. But he lost his DNC and his Weevil already. He might have E-Speed on the Zygarde, but it's not in range yet. Um, so Bulu comes out, and he might just have to bank on this not being Ice Beam, which means he has to... Um, pivot out here on the Water Z, because the plus 3 Water Z might just Oko the Bulu since the Bulu is a bit more fist as he does pivot into Tramp him to go for the Z. So he does get the play right and it's Water Z. And now the Bulu can live any one hit, because I don't think it's Ice Beam the way this has been played. If it was Ice Beam, he would have just gone for Ice Beam right there and the game would have probably ended and Inzo would have lost. But now I think he's able to live a plus 3 Surf in the rain. Um, he could also live a plus 3 Psychic. He should... He, he's not able to live um, Ice Beam, but he doesn't have Ice Beam, thankfully for Insult. And Holland is just able to get some health back. And now this Bulu might just win the game, because it's out of range from um, Pert's Ice Punch. Um, even the Ferrothorn has Gyro Ball, it cannot beat this, because it's Bulk Up Bulu. Um, it's, like I said, Bulk Up Super Power Horn Leech and... What's the last move? I forgot. Synthesis, yeah. Which is really fire to get health back. Um, whenever the rain ends, this is going to be really reliable recovery, the synthesis. So he goes in the lily. Um, Insult might not want to stay in because the terrain is up. He might just want to sack. Um, he might want to sack either the Zapdos or the Zygarde here. And then come back in to change the terrain. Because in Psychic terrain, um, Psychic is going to hurt the Bulu. Psychic is going to like potentially 2 hit KO. And he can also not synthesis because in rain, synthesis will only heal 25%. So he's going to switch here, sack something. Um, I feel like he's gonna sack Zygarde, um, but I don't know if it matters. Uh, so he's gonna sack something here and come back and then change the terrain, and I think the Bulu might just be able to win from there. Um, yeah, that was quite important for Insul that he got the turn right where he went in the heat train on the Z-move. Because if he stayed in there, um, I think his Bulu probably died. Might have been a roll. I think he probably would have died to the plus 3 Z. And then he would have lost the Bulu and the game would have been over. Man, if he would have just um, won from there. So thankfully for him it was not Ice Beam Manaphy, it was probably... Maybe it was Psychic, Surf, Rain Dance, Tail Glow? I don't know, dude. What's the last move? I don't know. If it was Rain Dance. Also the Pelipper, I didn't pay attention to the damage that Pelipper took, if the Pelipper was offensive or not. Oh no, it's Damproc, I'm pretty sure, right? Because the Rain is still up. The Rain would have ended if it's not Damproc. Yeah, yeah, so it wasn't Specs Pelipper. I was just thinking for a second if it could have been Specs, but I'm pretty sure it is. Because um, if it's Specs Pelipper, then it could have been Rain Dance Manaphy if the rain on Pelipper only lasts for a few turns. Um, but yeah, it definitely makes more sense um, for it to still be Dambrock, because he has uh, Manaphy, he has Hurricane that's more accurate return, that always hits, I mean, in the rain. Then he has Ferrothorn that takes less from HP Fire, Fire moves in general in the rain, and he also has a Pert. So he still has a lot of ones that take advantage from rain, so Dambrock still makes sense. And yeah, now... He made the play that I was saying, he's gonna sack something, go back to Bulu, change the terrain, and then just bulk up. And now he's in a really good position. He can just spam bulk up and he should be able to win this game. Um, I assume Empo does have Gyro Ball or T-Wave on the Pharaoh, one of the two. Otherwise, you wouldn't go out to Ferrothon if you walled by the Bulu. Probably has Gyro Ball, but shouldn't do much at all, maybe 30% after he went for bulk up. Um, goes for bulk up again, so now Gyro Ball should only do 20-ish. Oh, he gets a crit, damn, that's rough. Thankfully, he's able to lift that. And oh, he's leftovers by the way. For some reason, I thought he Z move Bulu. He's um, obviously Z move Heatran, right? In my mind, I was just thinking he's Z move because of the synthesis. Like, I know the sets, but yeah, this is unless he gets crit again. This Bulu just wins for insult, I'm pretty sure. Um, Jarable only has that many PP. Um, I guess he can synthesis here to be out of crit range guaranteed, but I think he doesn't. I don't know. Yeah, he does synthesis again just to be out of crit range there. Plays it safe. Now he's just gonna Horn Leech. Uh, Empo knows Horn Leech is gonna come out. Um, but that doesn't really matter. Um, I don't think that matters pivoting back into Ferrothorn. And he can just bulk up again, exactly. And he just Horn Leeches again. And even if he pivots back into Ferrothorn, then he just bulks up again when Ferrothorn comes out. Like, I guess he's kind of trying to stall out the Horn Leeches 12 left. But, like, I don't think he's gonna be able to do that. So he can just bulk up here again. He's out of crit range at the moment. 
and that does absolutely nothing and I think he's still out of crit range so we can afford to bulk up once more here and uh, after this gyro he should just go for synthesis here to be uh, super healthy well maybe he's just gonna super power but yeah I think since was the correct play as yeah, he does make that play gyro does nothing now we can just click super power here and this game is pretty much over um, yeah if Embo had the correct set on mana he would have just won with ice beam but uh, Insult is able to pull it off with the Bulu and I'm obviously happy Former man Insult so he's gonna be 2-0 oh now, uh, he's just gonna click Horn Leech here, I'm pretty sure even the crit wouldn't kill and he's gonna get some health back. And then Lily goes down and then he just clicks Super Power to kill the Pharothorn and he's gonna win this set 2-1. and one. Uh, I thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you with more co tournament coverage in the next days. Um, maybe with a shot on live, but there's just so many tournament games that I still wanna um, record. Um, I have a lot of them already recorded and I just have to upload them, but some of them I still have to narrate over them that I recorded from my second computer. Um, so yeah, and there's also going to be a lot of more um, live games in the next weeks for OT and Snake. So stay tuned for that and also a lot more guest uploads coming and have a fantastic day. Peace out friends.